Alright. This is a video on fruits and uh, I'm not sure. It's either gonna be a food in general or on live and frozen food. Okay, right now you some of you might already know what this is. It is frozen brine shrimp. There's the box right there. Can't really see it in this light. Um you can thaw it out if it's on you know, if you, before you put it in, or you can just put it in and attack it like crazy. They love this stuff, especially dwarf cichlids and larger cichlids if you want to breed them, like up to angelfish, so they'll eat them. Uh, I'm trying to breed cacatoides, so I just put two blocks in, which I usually do every other three days, kind of, maybe other other day, but if I'm breeding, I want to breed them every day. Put them in every day. Just don't feed black worms. Black worms to cockatory it just doesn't end up well. At least that's what I've heard. So they go crazy for this stuff. I wish it would stay up longer, but they still attack it even if it's on the bottom. And it's really nutritious. I think this type has, yeah, this type has algae and other nutrients in it, so it's not just protein. Which means they get a balanced diet. Kellogg's bars, uh, blah blah blah. Yeah, ha ha. Um, I think this is the male that was. I'm not sure. I think that's a male. Lost the female. Look at that tiny male girl. Oh, it's all the way back there. Well, anyway, so, um, these. All freshwater fish love this stuff, unless they're herbivores, which are like pakus. But even baby pakus eat this stuff because they're, they have to eat meat at the beginning to get protein and stuff. Um, so, great food for breeding, great food for just a, a nice little uh, treat every once in a while. It really colors them up if you have colorful fish like toides or the epistos or other dwarf cichlids. Uh, he's not really going for it right now. I don't know why. Uh, I should have said earlier he was flaring at the other females. I wish I got I would have got that on tape. Flaring at them, complete fins out, everything expanded, shaking the body. That's how they flirt basically. There's the, there's the tiny girl. So yeah, he's gonna grow. He's gonna grow like that size. It'll take a little bit, but actually that might be a female. If it is a female, I don't really mind because that just means more babies for me. Because they are indeed him flies. Sometimes you see him spread it out. Oh, quarries. If you're breeding quarries or if you just have quarries in general and other fish don't eat it, these guys will eat it, no matter what. I don't care what other people say. These guys will eat it like crazy. I feed them, I feed two blocks every day, or every other day, or every other three days, something like that. And if these things go and eaten by the other fish, I see right in the morning, I see the quarries, they're eating it. They're super fat. They love this stuff. Especially if you're breeding them, feed them a whole bunch of it. They go crazy for it, too. I don't know where the other two quarries are. Uh, yeah, there's the cockatoity. And then there's some sweet finage. Orange flash black spots. Black stripe. Uh, I was hoping for pure orange, stri orange flash, but I think I got one of them that has it. Uh, technically, I should have gotten less. I guess I should have gotten less money, but. Uh, taxes in Seattle are crazy. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this. Bye.